also po dito sa ating mesosphere, most meteors burn up. So, lagi niyo yung tandaan. At the same time, meron din sila dito ang tinatawag na isang klase ng lightning called the sprites, as you can see here, na nag appear in the mesosphere above the thunderstorms. So, the mesosphere extends from the stratopose that it is from or that is from 50 kilometers above sea level to 80 to 85 kilometers. Pag sinabi nating stratopose o stratopose, ito po yung ating boundary between stratopose or between stratosphere, the second layer, and mesosphere. So, ibig sabihin po, ang tropopose natin, for example, is between troposphere at ating stratosphere. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung mesopose natin, between mesosphere and thermosphere. It's very important. Tandaan niyo po yun. So, in the part of the mesosphere and thermosphere, the ionosphere exists. It's not included in the picture, but please take note of this. It is a series of regions where high energy radiation from the sun has knocked electrons loose from their parent atoms and molecules. The electrically charged atoms and molecules that are formed in this way are called ions. Giving the ionosphere its name and this region with some special characteristics and properties that's different from the layers. So kindly research on ionosphere more po. Okay. The next layer, we have thermosphere. So, this layer shows one of the layer that slowly merges to the interplanetary space. So, you can see here. And characterized by increasing temperature. So, mag meron kasi dito yung mga tinatawag nating high energy rays and UV radiation from the sun are already absorbed in this part or in this layer. Kaya, it raises the temperature here. Hundreds and thousands, hundreds and thousand times. However, in this layer, sa thermosphere, napakasin po niya that it would feel freezing cold to us. So, kahit na mataas yung temperature niya, hindi pa rin yung nagbibigay ng sapat na heat. Kaya, Sobrang freezing ba din pag pumunta tayo dito sa part na to? The extent or height of thermosphere varies due to increased solar activities. It usually remains between 500 to 1,000 kilometers high from sea level. So, oh. so again, the temperature here may reach or may reach 1,500 degrees Celsius Due to the least number of atoms, dahil dito, the heat energy remains low. Kaya diba, sabi ko kanina sa inyo, malamig pa din kapag pumunta tayo dito. Kasi, yung heat energy remains low. Kahit na mataas yung temperature. And this layer, makikita natin yung mga tinatawag natin auroras. Na you, you can actually see on the north and south Holes. So, this is a type of visual effect that looks spectacular and it's often familiar as northern and southern lights. So, di ba may mga movie about northern and southern lights? So, ito po yun. Dito yun nag-exist sa thermosphere. So, it's also known as uh, Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis. So, yun, nangyayari din yun dito. Also, International Space Station, nag exist din po sila dito sa layer na ito. Next, 
Next, although some of the experts consider the thermosphere to be the uppermost layer, sabi nila uppermost layer na daw to of our atmosphere, others or other researches consider the exosphere to be the actual final frontier. So, siya daw talaga yung pinakalast of the earth gaseous envelope. So, as you might imagine, the air in the exosphere is very, very thin, making this layer even more space-like than the thermosphere. In fact, the air in the exosphere is constantly, though very gradually, leaking out of the Earth's atmosphere into the outer space. So, there's no actually clear-cut boundary where the exosphere finally fades away into the space. Hindi nila alam kung hanggang saan ba talaga yung exosphere. So again, it started from the thermopose, which is the boundary of the thermosphere and the exosphere. And again, it blended with the solar wind. The exosphere of the Earth extends up to 1,000 600 kilometers from sea level. Napaka taas na. And also, a high temperature is observed here since we all know that it's already or it has this direct contact with the solar radiation. Now, here is the summary po of our layers or the atmosphere's layer layers based on the temperature kung bumababa ba sila or tumataas ba sila kapag kapag tumataas din po yung altitude so nandito yung summary ang nakalagay po dito earth atmosphere or earth's atmosphere is divided into five ma major layers alam na natin yun troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere the troposphere is the lowest layer. Take note of that. Temperature decreases with altitude in this layer. Sinabi na rin kanina. As you can see here sa graph, nagde-decrease siya from 19 or 18 degrees Celsius to negative 40. Next, the stratosphere is the layer above the troposphere. Temperature increases with altitude, as you can see here, in this particular layer. The ozone occurs here. Nabanggit na rin po yun natin. Pero in terms of altitude and temperature, it actually increases. So directly proportional po ang kanilang relationship. Sa ating mesosphere naman, it is the layer above the stratosphere and temperature decreases with altitude. So, dito naman nagde-decrease parang sa troposphere layer. So, parang opposite sila, di ba? Dito naman po sa thermosphere, this, in relation to altitude and temperature, the temperature actually increases as the altitude also increases. So, ito, directly po, proportional po ulit siya. Parang yung ating stratosphere naman. So, dito naman makikita yung mga northern and southern lights. Auroras. So, the exosphere po, hindi na ito binakita, is the highest layer where air molecules are very apart. Dito na yun sa taas. So, they actually can escape earth gravity and float into space. Kaya mataas din ang temperature dito. Kasi mas direct yung solar radiation na tatanda. Okay. Now, let's try to move to the next topic which is atmospheric heating. So, as we all know, different parts of the Earth's surface receive different amounts of sunlight. 